guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a nap time speed clean with me i just put my daughter down for a nap um it's around like 12 15. she usually goes down around 12 30 to one o'clock but she woke up extra early today and i could just tell she was tired and she kept saying that night so i put her down in her crib so hopefully she falls asleep um but i'm gonna go ahead and get started on cleaning this is the cleaning routine that i do um on the days that i do clean my house i do this routine during nap time um i basically just clean like the whole main living part of my house um i'll do my bedroom the kitchen the living room and then like the um eating room i have to clean off her high chair from lunch and stuff so you guys will see all this during this video but hope you guys get tons of cleaning motivation from this video let me know down in the comments if you guys have a nap time speed clean routine i love to hear what everyone else does especially during the time that we have right now being stuck at home. I like to clean when she is napping. That way when she wakes up, we can go ahead and go outside and play and it doesn't take time away from me like teaching her and things like that. So that's why I like to clean during her nap time. But I do not do this every single day, you guys. Some days when she is napping, I literally veg out on my couch or in my bed and watch a show while she's napping. Some days I'm super lazy. Other days I am productive and motivated. It normally goes with ever, like what the weather is outside. If it's raining and gloomy, I will most likely end up in bed during her nap time. But if it's sunny out like it is today, um, it gives me some extra motivation to go ahead and clean. And of course, if my house is like a complete disaster, I obviously have to clean that while she's napping or when she's not napping. But we're gonna go ahead and get started in this video. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get started in the kitchen first, but I'm gonna show you um, real quick how messy my house is. So this is my bedroom. The bed is already semi-made. Evelyn does this new thing where she likes to hide behind all the pillows. So my bed was made and everything ended up all over the place. So this is my bedroom right now. It's not terribly messy. I really need to wipe off this mirror. I'm not sure if you can, yeah, you can definitely see. Evelyn has this new thing where she goes up to the mirror and um, gives it a kiss. So that's her new thing. So it's really messy. And then I just have like some random stuff and it definitely needs vacuumed in here. And then let's head out into, this is definitely a situation. I don't know why there's so much laundry. That's Joel. Joel, if you're watching this, that's all you. Um, her high chair, the ground is super messy. This is the current situation of the kitchen. And then the living room. If you guys watch my videos, you know this is how this always looks so let's go ahead and start cleaning So like I said, we're starting off here in the kitchen. I'm just taking everything off of the countertops. I'm using the Mrs. Meyer spray to wipe them down. Basically the same thing I do in the kitchen every single time I clean it. Just take everything off, put it in its place, throw the trash out, wipe down the counters, do the dishes, all of that fun stuff.
friends trying not to see it Need some bliss in the turbulence I'm praying on the weekdays Drowning in the weekends All the shallow, shallow friends are mine I got the champagne dripping from inside my spine oh, Credit cards to buy my time You know I never listen It's not too late for you I plan on doing a kitchen um, deep clean so make sure your bell notification is turned on so you get notified when I do that. I plan on taking all the stuff out of the cabinets, decluttering everything, cleaning everything, cleaning the microwave, cleaning the oven, all of that stuff. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you're subscribed and that your bell notifications are turned on. Okay, so that took no time at all to just kind of clear everything off and wipe everything um, down. That probably only took me like maybe 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a few things off the floor, sweep them, and then um, just do some like spot cleaning because I had just cleaned my floors, but there's like a few spots that need just like wiped up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that next. So again, I'm just using the Mrs. Meyer spray and a washcloth to go around and just clean up the spots that were all over my floor. Got a brother that doesn't treat them right. Put your finger right in his face and tell that man bye bye. I'm too fly. I'm too fly. Bye -bye. So now that the kitchen is cleaned, I'm gonna go ahead and work on this area and then clean off her um, high chair. But I wanted to go ahead and show you guys something that my husband um, built for our daughter the other day. Let me see if I can show you from this part. So it's kind of hard to see because we have the screens in our window, but he built her this huge um, sand uh, sandbox with like, I'm not sure if you can see, there's like rubber mulch on the one side and then sand. We have like her water table and some chairs. Maybe I'll just go outside and show you guys because it's really cool. Hold on one second. It's also been super windy here today. So like all of my couch cushions and like the swing is blowing everywhere. This chair moved over here. But this is what I wanted to show you guys. You can see my chair flipped over, but there's like mulch on that side, then sand, sand toys, and her little water table. But it's like, it looks kind of small on here, but it's huge in person. But he literally just nailed these boards together, put a board through the center, put tarps down, and then got sand and that rubberized mulch. I'm sure you can hear the wind. 
it's so windy up here on the mountain some days it's so bad but i need to clean that up <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and clean up um this table part first and then i'll go into the family room To wipe down the table, I am just using the Method Wood Cleaner and a rag um, just to clean it. This is my favorite cleaner for anything wood in my home and it smells really good too. So if you guys do not have this cleaner, you definitely have to try it. I went ahead and lit this um, vanilla lavender um, candle from Bath and Body Works. It has essential oils in it and it smells seriously so heavenly. I need to go ahead and order some more candles from there because I am running out. Being stuck in the house every single day, I've just been doing candles. Also, I don't know if you guys have ever noticed this in any of my videos, but the table not being centered with the light drives me absolutely insane. I'm sorry if you've never noticed it and now that's all you're going to notice during my cleaning videos, but it drives me nuts and I don't know what to do about it. I kind of want to get a new one that hangs down and is like super long and would go like over the entire table. So maybe we'll do that someday soon, but that drives me nuts. Next, I'm going to go ahead and clean off her high chair. It's not too messy. I literally just got done um, wiping this down really good this morning. So I just gotta clean this part and then do the floors. It's pretty clear, I'm always so sincere. Oh, me, I'm a wild one, getting bored. This hamper also besides this and a few towels has all of my husband's gear in it. So I need to go ahead and start washing that um after i'm probably gonna wash that tonight because his gear is kind of dirty from like mud and stuff so i don't want to go ahead and wash that now and then wash other clothes so i'm gonna go ahead and pick up my shoes put them in the laundry room and then clean these disgusting floors especially under evelyn's high chair <laughs> I'm not sure if you're like this too, but cleaning the floors like bare feet, I don't know. I just have to put socks on when I'm like sweeping and actually cleaning like the entire thing of flooring. I don't know. It's weird. Let me know if you're like that too or if you can just sweep and clean your floors in bare feet. I know that sounds so weird now that I say it out loud. Floors look so much better. There's not like applesauce and all kinds of stuff on them. So definitely needed to do that. Next, we're gonna go ahead and move into the family room. So I'm not sure if you saw my, um, I think it was my cleaning video, maybe like two or three videos ago, but we are going to be moving all of this stuff out of our living room um, because it's literally, as you can see, taking over the entire thing. And what we're gonna do is get rid of this table that we have literally sat at maybe two or three times since we've been in this house. We're gonna get rid of the shelving unit over here, put that in our closet. We're just gonna store that down in our basement until, um, you know, we don't need like a playroom um, anymore. So 
This is going to be Evelyn's new play area because we literally do not use it. And as you can see, it's literally just a waste of space. So we're gonna go ahead and transform this into her playroom. I'll kind of tell you what we're gonna do. Like I said, we're gonna put that table down in the basement, keeping that rug in here. That's gonna go into our closet. We're gonna get a new light fixture because if this table's not here, you can literally walk right into that. So I ordered a bunch of um, new stuff for her for her room. So I will definitely be having a video on this. It's not gonna be like a one day video. It's gonna be over time because I'm not like rushing to do it or anything, but probably in the next two videos, this will not look like this anymore. And I'm super excited to transform this into a big play area. So like this is our front door and it's just like this entire, there won't be anything over here, but like this entire room will be her new play area so that this can get out of my living room. <laughs> but like we're gonna put that um, outside because I ordered her a new wooden kitchen. So all this is going to either go or go over here. I should mention we're also gonna move this into um, the dining room too. We're going to be keeping mostly, I'm, there's just like little stuff that like she does not play with. It just literally ends up on the floor. I went ahead and ordered her a bunch of um, wooden toys because I just read this article on wooden toys and how they are better for like imagination and play and stuff because all the plastic toys that she has um, makes like sounds themselves. You just press a button and it makes a sound. Whereas like a wooden toy, you move it yourself, you make the sounds yourself and it's just better for learning and stuff. So we're gonna keep a lot of this though. Like I said, we're gonna put the kitchen outside. That little chair is gonna go outside in the sand. That car track we'll keep in here, but like this is gonna go upstairs um, where my husband games at because Evelyn likes to go up there and hang out with him sometimes. So I'm gonna put a few of her toys up there and then kind of just like declutter and put a lot of the baby baby toys away for baby number two whenever that happens um because like i said she doesn't play with like any of this stuff it just it just ends up all over the ground so let's go ahead and clean this up You can see the little toilet sitting there. We have semi started potty training with Evelyn. She is 18 months old. We're kind of just getting her the like used to the idea of going in the potty. Um, we put her on it every sometimes we try to do every 15 minutes and we let her run around <laughs> without a diaper on and she ends up peeing on the ground. But we are trying to start to potty train. We're not being like extremely strict with it right now. But if you guys have any tips for that let me know down in the comments now that we're stuck at home I mean I thought like we might as well try to start doing it I figured she obviously would not get it right away but hopefully within like the next few weeks she is pretty good with it
so next i'm just moving over here to this um area once i get all of her toys out of the living room and i have that entire corner i think i'm gonna put that chair back over there and do like a little table over there i don't know if you guys have any ideas let me know down in the comments what you think i should do with the living room once all of the toys get out of there I also feel like the mirror, um, it's attached to the wall, but it's like slanted. So on the floor, I feel like it needs something with it. I was thinking about getting like a wooden seagrass basket and putting like a blanket in there or something. If you guys have any ideas, let me know down in the comments. I feel like it kind of just looks randomly placed over there. So if you have any ideas, let me know. So the last thing I'm going to do in here is quick wipe off that dresser and then I need to wipe down that mirror like I said before and then I'm going to put some of that laundry in the washer and like switch over um, the washer to the dryer and then that's pretty much going to be it for this um, nap time speed clean. done cleaning now that is going to be it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you are not already and i hope this brought you some 
cleaning motivation and if you have littles i hope it brought you some nap time speed clean motivation for you guys but i hope you guys are all doing really well um comment down below how your guys are doing how your days look all of that stuff let me know if you guys have any video requests um and let me know if you guys like this vlog style um better than just like straight voiceover so let me know down below but i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you all in my next video bye guys